YouTube, I'm back for another, another. What's sold? What's sold in June? What's sold in June? Listen to the fucking rain, it's pissing down. We, we know it's July, and we know it's July, we can hear the rain. But let's do this, quick. let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna show you every single thing that I sold. I'm a part-time reseller, part-time reseller. First of all, we'll do my top 10. My top 10 items, my favorite items, as sold in June. And I'm gonna do this every month for you, so let's fucking do it. So here's my top 10. Number 10, number 10. The Lego Castle, the Lego Castle. I found this for $5. This one sold on the 18th of June. Uh, this one sold for $70. I could have got more, but it was for my $5 challenge, $5 proof challenge, and it was my first item. That's why I had to put it in my top 10 because it was one of my favorites. And it was the first time I sold Lego. I only paid $5 for that, so. Then number 10. Number nine. You remember I got these from the markets and it was a $10 bag of all these little toys. And I, I thought they were monsters in my pockets, but they weren't. They weren't monsters in my pocket. They were these weird ball, um, uh, muscle uh, wrestlers, little tiny things. Um, so this is two separate sales, but I spent ten dollars on these, and I split them into two lots, and they both sold for sixty-five dollars each. Sixty-five dollars each. Um, they both sold on the fourth of June. That is my number nine. That is a damn good sale, if I do say so myself. 130 bucks right there. I think it was to the same person as well. I'm not sure, but I split them up and I got some good cash there. So what's that, $10 into 130? Fuck, toys. This one sold on the 11th of June. This was a pretty good sale. This was just a cassette player, just a Sony uh, Walkman cassette player. I paid $5 for this. Turn it into $50, happy fucking days right there. That is number eight on my list. I like that sale. This sold just before the month ended on the 30th of June. I paid 50 cents for this, 50 cents. And this is the Plutonium Incident, Plutonium Experiment Incident, whatever. It's a VHS, I got 50 bucks for it. I paid 50 cents, 50 cents into $50. Happy fucking days. I think that one went to America or to Canada. I'm not sure. Who said, who said videos don't sell? Who fucking said that shit? Uh, number six, it sold on the 25th of June. I paid $25 for this. This was an RA item from the toy store a little while back. Now, I did sell the month beforehand my Ultimate Warrior one for $100 that I spent $25 on. Now, this Yokozuna one I did have listed at about $85. Ended up taking 65 for it because I wanted to get rid of it. Everyone pays for their own postage as well. So, uh, WWE Elite, Elite Figures, look for Elite, 65 from 25. I'm happy with that, 40 bucks in the kitty, and they pay for their own post, so. This sold on the 25th of June, and I'm fucking number five. I'm happy, I'm fucking so happy to get rid of this. Uh, this was the ninth, uh, 2019 limited edition uh, Care Bears. Care Bears Christmas Wishes uh, Bear. Um, this is number five on my list because I got $110 for it and I paid uh, $25 at the markets for that one. So I'm very happy with that uh, sale. Um, you can't ask for anything else and um, they paid for their postage, which I charged them 20 bucks and it only cost me 15. So it's got an extra five bucks there as well. So okay, that's why it's going to number five because I scored an extra five. Number four on my list, number four. Number four sold on the 22nd of June. 22nd of June, this was the uh, video camera. Now, this was right, this is the week before the $5 group challenge uh, started, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, I got $120 for this. I paid $15 from this from uh, the Binnies. Fuck the Binnies. Uh, from the Binnies, and um, yeah, they were happy as big and shit, uh, these customers. Gave good feedback and all that, so we got a video camera out the door for $120 from 15 bucks per look past them. Number three on my list sold on the 19th of June and it sold for $150, plus they paid for their own postage. This was Ernest. I don't know if you know Ernest, but Ernest is a dickhead. He is a dickhead. Uh, five movie set, I think. I'm not sure. Five or four, yeah, five movie set. Uh, Ernest, I gave $2 for this at the market. It's $2 into $150. I'm happy it sold. Uh, it was new and sealed. 
I've been holding on to this for ages and I was not dropping my price. I've had it since the start of the year from the markets and I was not dropping my price and I'm glad I didn't. It might have taken six months to sell, but I've got $150 for it. Number two on my list is a football card. Yes, a football card sold on the 20th of June. I took an offer. I had it listed for $450. I took $320. It is a pristine, prestige Ben Brown kangaroos footy uh, card, select card. Uh, footy cards, as you know, uh, Diary of a Flipper, uh, and two Aussie Grifters and myself love getting the uh, footy cards and uh, cracking them open. So uh, I just happened to snag a good one there, and uh, I've done very well on footy cards this month as well. $320 right there in the kitty, and that was just from a pack of cards from a box that I brought from the fun that we have of opening boxes of cards. $320, that's number two, that was number two. Now for my number one, my number one. My personal number one for a reason. I brought this for 50 cents. I brought this for 50 cents. Sold on the 30th of June, right before the month uh, just finished. And um, check it out. The Land of Time Forgot, very rare, better max tape. So I put this with my video tapes, VHS. Uh, whatever motherfuckers out there that say videos don't sell, fucking suck a dick. Uh, videos sell, uh, they bring me great profit in. You don't know what you're fucking talking about because you just fucking don't do the research. You're too lazy to do the research. You don't want to do the research. Fucking learn about products. I don't, I don't bag people that sell women's clothes and say women's clothes don't sell and they're worthless because I have no knowledge about women's clothes. I don't care about women's clothes. I'm not gonna bag women's clothes because I don't learn about women's clothes. I can't sell them, but I'm not gonna bag that item. But then there's assholes that say videos I don't sell because you're fucking too dumb to fucking sell them. That's fucking why, you're too fucking dumb. Anyway, my number one item, my number one item, $120 from 50 cents, $120 from 50 cents. Happy as a pig and shit with that one. It's a Betamax tape, Betamax tapes, fucking sell, VHS sell, that is awesome. So that is my top 10 of what sold in June. Let me go through every single item that I sold for the whole month for you. So we'll start with the $5 challenge items. $5 challenge items, I sold two $5 challenge items. Uh, a Nintendo DS game and a Lego, which was in my top 10. Two sales for $110 towards the uh, $5 challenge. All my prices, all my prices are gonna be without fees and taxes because I ain't doing all that extra maths for you. You can do those fucking maths yourself. I fucking hate that shit. We've got two items, two items that still payment required, uh, waiting for payment. One of them is a uh, WWE uh, figures and another one is a Nike football boots, unfortunately. Those two have not been paid and cases will get open on them. Let's show you the bad stuff before the good stuff, eh? Returns, I only had one return, which was awesome for the whole of June. Uh, so, this was an Xbox 360 Connect uh, game, which I did not test. Uh, it was $20. Uh, I took their word for it that um, it didn't work. Simple as that. And they got a refund. I said, don't even post it back to me. Shit happened. Only one return. I'm happy with that. First up, we'll do toys. Toys, uh, we had eight sales for toys for the month uh, at a $448 before fees and taxes. Eight sales of toys, pretty damn good. Happy with that. For board games, we had one sale, only one sale for board games at $50 at 50 bucks, and uh, that was a Monopoly sealed one. So happy with that, and that's before fees and taxes, they paid for their own postage. Books did okay, but I usually only look for two books and for uh, comic books and that, so I had five book sales, five book sales for $105 before fees and taxes, they paid for their own postage, all of them. $105 from $5 worth of books, and all those books there, uh, I did pay, uh, I think, uh, looking at it, I think I paid about 10 bucks altogether, so that's pretty damn good. Uh, CDs, CDs, this one for this for 25 cents. Um, basically, I did get all these CDs for 25 cents. I think one there is a 50 cent one. Uh, but I sold six CDs, uh, six, uh, six sales of CDs uh, for $88. 
88 dollars um, so i would have spent there maybe two dollars fifty or four dollars so into 88 bucks so that's pretty damn good all right dvds i did very well on dvds i usually do spend a dollar each on uh, dvds but there is a lot of dvds in there as well that came in big bulk loads so they worked out to be 20 cents and all that as well uh, so we sold 15 dvds for 430 dollars that's before fees that's before taxes and that's everyone paying for their own fucking postage. All right, next up we had three items, three items, electronics. We had two video cameras. One was a house brick video camera. Um, the cassette player, the walking thing that you saw anyway. Three sales, three sales, $250. $250 out. I think I spent all together uh, there. Uh, 20 bucks because one of them was a house grip, so $20 into $250. Next up was jeans. I'm not very good at picking out jeans. I don't go through the jeans very often because there's only a few brands that I know and I need to do more research with jeans. Two sales for the jeans. I did pay $5 each for these. Uh, this is before fees and taxes, of course, all of it is. And uh, that was 50 bucks. 50 bucks from two sales of jeans. Unfortunately, not that great, but still money in the hand. Uh, shirts, I don't pick up the new shirts at all myself as well. Uh, I don't know too much about them, so I don't grab what I can. Uh, so I've got three sales, three sales of shirts for $75. I paid $5 each for those. And actually, I think one of them there, I spent $2.50. So there you go, $12.50. Uh, into 75 bucks, not bad for shirts only just starting to sell again for myself. Uh, shoes, I picked up this pair of shoes for five dollars. Uh, this was my only sale for shoes, I only had one sale for 40 dollars. For fees and taxes, they pay for their own postage and all that crap. And uh, that, that's all right because I don't buy too many shoes. I think I've only got about five pairs of shoes listed, so I'm not the biggest shoe fan because I don't know too much about it. I'm still learning about that as well. Uh, so four sales of video games, four sales of video games for $120. Uh, I spent right there, that is $4. $4 into $120, bucks. not bad at all. But I'm a bit disappointed because I only got four video game sales for the month. So footy cards, footy cards. We had a real good month with footy cards and damn, we had fun opening the boxes of footy cards as well. Uh, I had nine sales, nine sales for the footy cards and there were some really good ones in there. So those nine sales, I got $680 from nine cards. That was nine individual cards. There was no lotted up ones in there as well. So that was nine individual cards for $680. Not bad at all. All from uh, us opening our boxes of football cards and hoping for the best. And last but not least, what's my name, bitch? What's my name? <laughs> yes, it is. So let's bring up the VHS sales. Oh, who said that that video is going to sell? I had 42. Look at that. 42 VHS sales for $675. $675 from 42 videos. That averages out to about $15 a videotape. Yes, there were some that sold for $15. There were some that sold for $120. There were some that sold for $50. There were some that sold for $10. I don't like to go under $10. Uh, so it averaged out at the uh, $15 to $17 mark, which is pretty cool. Uh, so 42 videos into 675 bucks. A lot of those were free videos. A lot of them were 50 cent videos. A lot of them were 20 cent videos. So, you know, right there I might have spent $20 to make 675. But videos don't sell, do they troll? Okay, so it wasn't my greatest month. June was just okay. I didn't do too much listing. I was a naughty, naughty boy. But we did get 99 sales in the end. 99 sales, which I'm pretty happy with because I'm a part-time reseller. I work full time for a living, so it is hard to get fucking heaps of shit thrifted and listed. But 99 sales for a total before fees, before taxes, before all that mumbo jumbo shit. Hold on, hold on. I think it would be wrong of me not to bring up the kitty. Mm. Kitty, 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 kitty. Before fees. Four taxes, everyone's paid for their own shit. Fucking all that mumbo jumbo shit. 99 sales, how much did we make? Get it, come on. Nah. 
Until next month, your little prick, go back to fucking Troll's house. He'll feed you bullshit that he dribbles out of his fucking mouth. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, or do what the fuck you want. It is your life. I cannot tell you what to do. Do whatever you want, man. Do whatever you want. But come back and join me and uh, uh, the lives. And uh, This is still a thrifting channel. Don't get me wrong. It's still a thrifting channel. But we love Thursday, Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights, we've got a punk club. We're trying to make money. We're trying to make money putting on footy bets. So don't miss that on Wednesday nights. The punk club. Uh, all the boys' links are in there. And then I've got all these other lives. We've got Worldwide Reselling. Don't forget Worldwide Reselling with, the, with my three amigos. My, the, the, the three amigos. The sausage, sausage boys. And then we've got all these other game nights that we're doing. We're going to have a game night coming up. Oh man, we've got some giveaways. There's so much stuff happening. There's so much stuff happening. Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what your best sale was. What was your number one? You saw my top 10. What was your number one in your top 10 for June? What was your number one? Let me know, let me know. There's some more stuff coming out. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm on holidays now. I'm on holidays, I'm gonna go sit back and do fuck all. See you later, see you.